Wow, wow, wow. You are welcome to Gassem TV, an official broadcasting station of Gassem Films and Music Production. God bless you. I'm Adeni Ifamewu, the president of this ministry, Glorious Ambassadors of Christ Evangelical Ministry. If this is your first time of coming to this YouTube channel, please subscribe. This is the way to encourage us. Please encourage us by subscribing to this YouTube channel. It is free. You are not paying for it. To our existing subscribers, please like this video. The more you like, the more YouTube will recommend these videos for other people to watch. Please encourage us. Help to grow this community. This is a good community. This is a Christian community. This is a gospel community. We need you to help to grow this community. And the Lord God Almighty will bless you in Jesus' name. You will be glad that you are on this channel. Please do not forget that you are about to watch another wonderful movie but before that press the subscription button the lord god almighty will bless you we are committed to producing good and quality christian movies god bless you you are welcome once again to gasem tv remain blessed in jesus Mr. Wally, yes. what are you doing about Mr. Wally's recovery of Mr. Wally's loan? Um, actually, sir, about three months ago, we sent them a notice that we are coming over to take over the property. But to my surprise, they have not responded since. Three months ago? M Mr. Wally, it's getting too long. Um, you see, what we're going to do is this. I want you to go and serve them another notice. At this time, I have to make it 24 hours. Did you understand? Yes. And you make it, do it fast. Yes. Oh, see that is done. I am going to borrow a lot of money. Alright, sir, we'll let you take a look. Alright, sir. 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 Mercury, and you know what do they do? You remember they came the other time? Yes, yes. Abi? And they were talking about. This is serious. That means somebody must have used my CO4 to obtain this loan. Who could have done that? I don't remember giving my CO4 to anybody. Hey! 24 hours. 24 ha. hours. Ha, hey, yeah, 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 it's been real long.
between this bread and juice. Is it fine? Bread and canola the Great. Uh, with juice. Okay. Ah, but before you get the bread, okay. there is this other important matter. Okay, sir. This issue of my accommodation. Yeah. Yeah. I've been to Lawrence. I've also gone to this my guy, uh, this my South African friend, Kletavo. Okay. And uh, I've even gone to Bimbo's place. Okay. None of them was ready to take me in. I don't know what I've done. That nobody is willing to allow me to stay in their place. Eh? <sighs> and so I, I'm thinking of if you can just be of help. At least for me to stay here, pending when I will get something to do and uh, get my own place. Mm -hmm. This issue of uh, accommodation is not uh, something as easy as you think. I wouldn't blame those people. Because you see here, there is rules. And you can't just bring anybody to your house, you know, at your own will. I'm bringing you to this place or allowing you to stay here for you know some time. It's not something I can't do, but honestly, I don't want to lie. I've tried. I've tried my best, and I, I believe I've reached my limit. And uh, talking about putting you in, even if I want to do that, I have to consider the fact that we have uh, rules and regulations here. I need to inform the body corporate. And by telling them, it will result in increase in my bill. So, Uncle, honestly, I'm so sorry, but I believe I've tried my best and I can't keep going out of my way to, you know, make you okay or satisfy you or anything. This is South Africa. I need to put some other things into consideration. Really, I really, you know, I wish I can help, but honestly, I can't. I'm, I'm so sorry. Please, I'm, I'm sorry I can't. I can't. I really wish I could, but I can't. I'm sorry. Well, at least you will be allow me for tonight, sir. Probably till tomorrow or thereabouts. Well, if if you say you want to stay for tonight, I I understand. And, you know, we can always work around that. But then, please, I want to beg you, let your tonight be your tonight. If you are staying tonight, it's fine. It's not a problem. After all. It's even late now. I can't say you should start leaving now. But then, please, tomorrow. I don't want a situation whereby we now start talking and giving it other excuses. Please, tomorrow, try as much as possible to make plan and, you know, look for a place to go. Yeah. But then, that, that reminds me, you said earlier that you don't mind doing, uh, if you can get any job or anything. Yes. Because there is this lady who was talking to me a couple of days, uh, Lorraine. Is her name. She was telling me that she needed a helping hand in the house, like um, for cleaning, taking care of the garden, like just a general maintenance thing okay. of the house. So I don't know if you would be able to, you know, do such job. If you'll be interested. I, I won't mind. I won't mind. Look, the situation of things now, eh? I will not mind to do just anything oh, well. to survive. If, I that, mind. if that's the case then, then, since you don't mind doing such, then I'll call her first thing in the morning. Then we can arrange to meet her and uh, see where it goes. So if I say you don't mind, you know, it's more like a sales, uh, sorry, a houseboy thing. So you, you if you think it's fine, then... I'm ready to do anything I'm, just to survive. Then that settles it then. I'll call her in the morning, then we can meet up with her. We share an appointment with her then. We take it from there. Okay. So no, no problem. That okay now? Yeah. No problem. So are you gonna eat your bread now? Or? Ah sure. Okay. Let me get the bread then.
Baba Bode, you did not eat your food. Ah, your food is getting cold now. Baba Bode, Baba Bode, you have not eaten your food. Baba Bode, ah, how long are you going to continue like this? You have to take your food. See, the food is getting cold. Please. Food shop. Look, Aike. Mm. Of the truth, I am not hungry. I don't even have appetite. How do you think I can eat in this situation? Living in just one room with my wife and all my properties lumped together. You think it's easy? I understand. I understand how you feel. Chukonsibe Sibe. You have to eat. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, Daku. Please. Hey, Joe, Jenny. Think about your health. Hey. Ede mo, ikwe te mi ba mbe, ire ti shi mbe. Gwai, oko nisho mo lo kube ni, a o le sinkwe lo kwe la ila. Please, even if it is more, eat out of your food. My dear, I am not hungry for now. Take this food away. Hmm? Okay. If you insist, I will take it away. I will go and keep it. Maybe later. Thank you, Mrs. Lorraine. No, Lorraine. The name is Lorraine. <sighs> Lorraine. Thank you so much. You see, like I said before, I need a job urgently. I just need a job badly to survive in this country. It's okay, okay, but uh, it's all right. Did I hear you say you will do anything? Did I hear what? Of course. I'm ready to do anything, just to survive. As things are now, I don't even have a place to stay. So I need a job urgently to keep body and soul together. All right then, you have a job. Huh? Just like that? How, 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 are you serious? Of course, you heard me well. You have a job. Wow. Thank you so much, Lorraine. I'm grateful for this. Thank you. Uh, okay. 
I'm giving you access to this whole compound, this house. Um, let's just say it's like giving you access to every nook and crannies of this apartment. Wow. This is unbelievable. You, you mean it? Are you serious about what you are saying? Yes. Uh, you'll be responsible for taking care of this compound, washing, cleaning, clearing on general maintenance. Hi. Hi. That's my sister Betty. Oh, hi. hi. Sister, I'm going out. I'm coming back. It's a bit too late. <laughs> and your compensation will be, apart from you securing a job with me, you'll also secure an accommodation. And as soon as the papers is fully uh, concluded, you'll have to move in here with us. You mean? I now have an accommodation and I can move in with you? Oh, Lorraine, I'm really grateful. Thank you so much. Oh, you are so nice. Thanks so much. Yeah, and in addition of that, I'll help you to get your papers to stay in South Africa. And I'll cover all the expenses, trust me. You will also help me secure my papers. Oh, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate this. Thank you, Lorraine. But there's a con there's a condition attached to it actually. Mm. What's the condition? Yes. What condition is that? You have to marry me. Did I hear you say marry you? to be staying in the apartment. That's good. That's good. But she said there is a condition to it. Okay. And can you imagine the kind of condition? Mm -hmm. She said I should marry her. Marry can you her. imagine that? So she asked you to marry her. Uh-huh. Lorraine. Uh -huh. So what did you tell her? Like, what? It's, it's fine, Abby. Fine, Kini. Ah. You expect me to tell lies, fine. No. Ah, ah. <laughs> I left my wife and my kids back at home in Nigeria. Hey. Okay, one so you fine. Oh, what are you saying? You to marry another wife. Ah. Oh, what are you saying for kind of loud? This is the best thing I've even heard so far. Lorraine asked you to marry her. Uh -huh. And you are thinking about it. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm, I'm not, not just, supposed I'm to jump at I'm not thinking about it. So what are you saying? It's not something I can do. Oh my goodness. Why? Because of what? My wife and my kids back home in Nigeria. Oh my goodness. Uncle, come on. Come on. What are you saying? It's not as if your wife and kids are here with you. This is South Africa. You need to open your eyes. This is someone who is willing to give you a good job. At least. To keep body and soul together. Hey, what are you saying? You are here complaining about wife and kids. Those wife and kids at home, if you are not providing for them or you are not doing anything for them, will you even be somebody in their, in their faces? Will they even look at you as their father or their husband or her husband? What are you talking about? There is someone who is offering you a good job, giving you a place to stay, and some other things. So, what are you complaining about? Eh? 
Leave Nigeria, leave everybody at home, leave them. Let them take care of the, the, the place. When you are fine, you are fine. Anyway, I don't have anything to say. And this is not a matter of bringing your head down. You need to wake up. And you need to decide. Eh? As it is now, I don't have any other thing to say. Mine is that I have tried my best. have secured someone who is, gonna offer, who is offering you a job. Now it's left to you. And I'm giving you this night to make your decision. If you are taking that job or you are not taking it, it's none of my business. Mine is tomorrow. Just get your stuff. You have two options. I can take you to Lorraine's house to start a job or take you to the street. That's all I have to say because I won't kill myself now. That night, I love the way you drive. Um, let's start out, out of the car. Honestly, I love the way you drive. But there are some problems here. Firstly, you don't have South African driver's license. Secondly, you don't have a work permit here in South Africa. Without a South African driver's license, you will have a problem. And it will also affect me, my bro. If I decide to give you this job now, if you are arrested, I will also be arrested. How do I solve this problem? I also need someone to help me to take my kids to and fro of school with the other car. But you don't have paper, brah. You don't have paper. How do I solve the problem? Is there no other way you can be of help to me? I really need a job. Please. It's just unfortunate. Just unfortunate. <sighs> Let me have my keys.
is this how hard it is to get a job down here? Where is the promised proverbia for the fish? Tears, my children. Hmm. This offer taking it means I'm breaking my marriage vow. I know my wife will never break her home. How would I be able to face her? After breaking my marriage vow. <sighs> this is becoming more difficult for me. And the situation of things here. I just must survive. What am I going to do? You are looking very good. Oh, well, so you make yourself comfortable. All right, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Oh. So how's everything? Well, hmm. fine. Oh, let's go. <laughs> How are the children? Oh, they are fine. You're Your fine. husband is doing great. <laughs> I can see that even mm. everywhere here, I could see that news. Thank God. <laughs> Were you surprised to see me, Mr. Tony? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Well, I just felt that after a long time, I have to see you <laughs> and see how you're doing. Yeah, and I'm glad you. that you're doing very well. Yeah, thank it's you. wonderful. Yeah. So how's your family? How about you? Well, so so. Mm. What? I think I need to go out. I forgot something in the car. Okay. It's okay. Hmm? So, Mr. Tony. The pretty evening, bae. <laughs> please, 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 please. No, no, no. Because what about the issue with this cause? Issue? Yes, I don't know what you're saying. No, come on. You please. understand. Please, excuse me. Please, uh, What is all this? Just allow me to take care of you. Please. Uh, what are you saying? Taking care of me. <laughs> we look good together, baby. Please, 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 please. Do I look like someone that needs help or what? No, 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 baby. I'm uh, not saying that you have issues. But, but we look good together, baby. <laughs> have you forgotten that I'm a married woman? With two kids. Mind you, you are in my husband's house. So what? What's all this? Care it's okay, it's okay, please, it's okay. Ah, please. Be what is all this? Come on. Huh? I know you can understand me. Mm -hmm. Give me a chance. Oh. This is when this plan, eh? <laughs> Mr. Tony, please, stand up and leave my house. Baby. <laughs> Come on. I said, stand up. 
stand up and leave my house right now. <laughs> but Big Day is not up to this. Try to understand what I'm saying. Understand my feelings. Be a gentleman. Stand up right now and leave my house. What's going on here? I heard your noise from outside. What is going on here? This is your plan now. It's not a matter so of So you plan. brought him I here? I just want to, to assist you. Assist me with him? You will put me. This person that you just put all your mind on. Do you know what's going on with the husband? Hey! Yes? Wendy? Yes. Really. You? Yes, me. What's the big deal Now about? I know that I, you, you are not a good friend at all. Say you are not a bad friend. Really? You are not a good friend at all. Really? Just leave my house. Go. Just because of money, right? I should go because yes, of... Yes, go. Go. Okay. Go. Well, let me tell you one thing. If I go, mark my words. Then you can look at me. Mark my words and read my lips. You come begging. Just go, leave. In a short while, you come back because I know when you get to that level, you remember to leave. Never. There's no problem. Never. No problem. Dear parents, we write to remind you of the ultimatum for payment of our award's long overdue school fees. As mentioned before in our former notice to you, we would like to inform you that you have less than three days to complete or to make payment or else the school management will have no option than to send your awards back home. Thanks for your cooperation. Signed the school management. Mommy, what is it? Are you fine? I'm okay.
Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. You, you, you are the pastor here? Yes, yes, I'm a uh, pastor. Please, sir, I beg you in the name of the Lord. I need your help. Okay, I okay. need you to assist him. Please, no, no, please, no, 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 sir. No, 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 don't, please. don't do that. What is it? Please, sir, don't do that. Just help me. Okay. I have some challenges. All right. And I need assistance. Okay. Please. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. Let's, let's just go inside. You are welcome. God bless you. You are welcome. Let's go inside and talk. God bless you. After Lauren kicked me out of her house, it dawned on me that I was in big trouble. I had no other place to go. No friend was willing to take me in. And, you know, the, the weather now, the cold is too much. If not for the fact that I met you outside, maybe I will have frozen to death. And thank God for this tea you gave me. Mm. 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 It is well. So, ah, Pastor, ah, I am not finding things easy. Mm. Mm. Life is becoming too hard for me. Mm in this country. Mm. Uh, the Lord is good, my brother. The Lord will take control. Amen. Your situation is nothing to God. The Bible says, with God all things are possible. So don't worry about what has happened. You have come to the right place. You have come to the house of God. And we know that with God all things are possible. Amen. I meant to ask something from you. Are you born again? 
Are you saved? Uh, well, sir, I... Back home in Nigeria, I do go to church. Uh, sometimes I give my offering. Mm -hmm. I pay my tithes mm -hmm. when I have money. Oh, you mean you are a Nigerian? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. right. And, and your name is? Uh, Olabode Gideon. Olabode Gideon. Yes, sir. Well, the Lord, the Lord will take control of the situation. Amen, sir. The Lord will take control. As I was saying to you uh, about being born again, you know, being born again and being saved is the beginning and the end of everything. Because if the Lord is in your life, nothing shall be impossible for you. Mm. I just wanted to ask you if you would like to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Ah, Jesus. Mm. Ah, what? I don't think I have any other choice. Mm. Mm. I want myself. Well, I would like us to pray together. Okay, I'd like us to pray with you and believe that the Lord will take care of your situation. with our mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, we, we will be saved. So welcome into the family and this is your home. You are now born again and the Lord will attend to, to your situations. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. And you are so lucky. Uh, we just had a guest speaker from Nigeria. Mm and he was preaching last night and he's coming again tomorrow morning on Sunday and he's going to be preaching here and I would like to also introduce you to him. Oh, that would be good, sir. So tomorrow we're going to be able to meet with our guest speaker. He's going to be available to talk to you maybe after service here in my office. Would you like to speak to him? Oh, sure, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, thank uh, 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 you. I... I don't mind if I can get a place to stay for the night here. Not a problem. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm very happy for you. Thank you, sir. Bless you. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you so much, my pastor. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure, my brother. It was such a powerful message. We give God the glory. You know, we read this scripture and uh, I never really had the kind of revelation the way you explained the scriptures today. Thank the Lord. And I'm definitely sure that uh, all the people were blessed Amen. in the church today. I guess so too. And we trust in so. God for powerful testimonies Amen. from this message. Amen. Amen. Yeah, thank Amen. you so much. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. And I'm sure we will be inviting you to come back again. I love that to his glory. I saw the whole church was standing up and I was almost jealous there. Because no, you they never stand to. when I preach. You don't need to. You don't need to. You don't need to. Yeah, thank you so much. No, we appreciate it, my pastor. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It was a blessing. Okay. Amen. You know, there, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Okay. There's a brother who recently joined our church. Okay. okay. And his name is Boden. Oh. Comes from one of the areas in Nigeria. I don't know whether it's Abuja or Lagos. Okay. okay. Uh, he explained to me some of the challenges that is going through personally at this stage. Okay. And I think if time permits, it would be nice if you can just give him some counseling. 
Okay. I did ask him to come by yeah, the yeah. office. Let him come. Uh, I hope Let he will be. Oh, there is a knock at the door. Okay. I hope that is him. Uh, come in. Uh, oh, that's him. That's him. Wow, <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, we were talking about you just now with the pastor. Okay, sir. Yeah. His name is uh, Bode. Bode. Yes. And uh, I think uh, you can tell the pastor the things that we discussed the other day. Okay, sir. And I'm sure the man of God will be able to help you. Okay. Your name is Bode? Yes, sir. You must be from the Yoruba side of Nigeria. Yes, sir. Oh, nice to meet you. Thank uh, you, sir. You are welcome. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. All right, let me excuse you. you. Okay. okay sir. And let me attend to the church okay, and I will come back shortly. Okay. Thank you, please. You thank you. Go. Feel free, my brother. Thank you. Right. Bless you. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. You say, what is your name? Benny, sir. Your name? Benny, Ah, okay. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. Bless you. Yes, sir. Ah, how may I help you? Sir. Yes. I've been here for over three years, running from pillar to post. Just in a bit to survive. But all my efforts have been fruitless. I don't have any papers. I've been hiding from one place to another. I'm really confused. I don't know. Things have not been easy for me since I came to this country. Things are tough now. Yes, very, very tough and difficult. Yeah. I think you will need to return back to Nigeria. You mean I should go back home? Yeah. Ah, sir. <laughs> Going back home is not as easy as you said it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Not with the evil I did before I left Nigeria. Evil? What kind of evil did you do? Pastor, mm -hmm. I did something terrible before I left Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Something really bad. Mm -hmm. Bad? Yes. Mm -hmm. Evil? What kind of evil did you do? <clears throat> Sir, I have brought the CFO you requested for. Right. Uh, my family really needs this loan as a matter of urgency. I just can't stand to watch my father die of this terrible sickness. When I know we have a property we can use as collateral for a loan. The doctor has assured us that if we can fly him abroad, we will be fine. By God's grace, I hope to pay back the loan within the next few months, as I stated in the agreement. Is that right? I've seen your papers there. You signed it very well. Now, um, where is the seal? Oh. Are you sure everything is there? Yes, every document pertaining to the property. Okay. We will come and inspect the property as soon as possible. Okay, sir. Then we'll move on from there. Okay. Okay. Uh, also, uh, when is your inspection team likely to come? Uh, let's okay. see. Let's see whether Monday morning. Let's go Monday morning. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Okay. <sighs> mm. Sir, I told the account manager mm. of the finance company that my dad was terribly sick mm. and needed to be flown abroad for treatment. Mm. And you know what, sir? My father wasn't sick. It was a lie. Wow. I just told them a lie. That's serious. So your dad wasn't really sick? No. Not at all. My father was never sick. Mm. I just had to say something to curry their sympathy so that they can release the money. 
And, uh, sir, I made sure I did all the transaction without giving my parents any sign that I was doing something like that. Mm. I played the first one on my dad. I made sure the day the finance company was to come and inspect the house. Mm -hmm. I made sure my dad was not around. Mm. And that gave the officials the impression that my father was actually in the hospital. Mm. And that we needed the money badly. Hmm. That was bad. After we concluded the transaction, I gave them the CFO. Mm. And they gave me the money. And as soon as I collected the money, I bought tickets and I left Nigeria. Mm. That's too bad, man. Honestly, too, too bad. bad. And you know what, sir? All this why? My wife didn't know anything mm. about the transaction. Mm. The impression I gave her was that a company here in South Africa gave me a job. Yeah. And I needed to take up the appointments. So she wasn't in the know about all I did. Mm. Wow. Ah, sir. I don't know. The company had the CFO. I don't know what has happened to them. Mm. My poor dad. Because of my inability to pay back the loan, mm. I know that by now my parents must have been kicked out of the house. Mm. A house built by my father mm. with his hard earned money. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Mm. I've been a great disappointment. Mm. I know my dad will feel so bad. Mm when he's being kicked out mm. of his own house. Mm. It's okay, brother. Stop crying. God can take control. He will make everything beautiful. So you see? Yours is just like the story of the prodigal son who sold all his father's properties and go to a strange land. So you need to go back home. Because the Bible says, if the foundation is faulty, everything will be destroyed. Mm -hmm. I perceive that this is the foundation of all your troubles. Mm -hmm. Why you have not been able to make it here in South Africa? Despite the all the years you have been here. So you need to go and make your way right with your father. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ask for his forgiveness. Ask for his pardon. And if your father is able to forgive you, and if possible, you pay back the money. You can retreat back the sea of hope to your father's house. Because that's your inheritance. But the bottom line, you need to trace your way back home. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. And God will go ahead of you. Amen. Uh, I don't mind accompanying you to see your father. So it will be easier for you. And I believe the Lord will have gone ahead of us to speak to your dad. Yeah. And I will tell my host pastor here to raise support for you in the church. That is to fund your ticket. Let's believe the Lord. You will that, that's kind of you, sir. Yeah. I'm really very grateful. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Give the glory. Let me pray for you.
You are welcome, Bravo D. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate your assistance, sir. Glory to God, my brother. I'm happy you came back. Thank you, sir. I'm really happy you came back, which is very good. I love that to be the part of you. And I believe it's because of what the Lord did in your life. Uh, have you gone to see your parents? Uh, no, sir. I, I'm just coming directly from the airport. Mm. Uh, since you said I should see you as soon as I come into the country, okay. so I just decided that I need to see you first before going home. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll ask one of my pastors to uh, today, tomorrow, to follow you to see your parents. Yes, that's very important that you go and see them. Uh, if I may ask you also, you've not seen your wife and your children? I have not even seen my wife and children. Okay. Okay. You will have to see her first. And uh, apologize to her and beg her. I know she'll be surprised. And I know you'll be thinking, how will you see her, what will be her reaction and all those stuff. But I believe if you beg her, you apologize to her, tell her you are now born again, that you are a child of God, God has changed your life, and that uh, you won't go back to all that again. I believe she will understand. God will touch her heart. Amen. God will touch her heart. And I don't want you to be discouraged. I want you to summon up courage. The Lord who has seen you to this stage, He will see you through. Amen. I believe your case will be like the children of history. In Psalm 126, I say, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Sion, we well, let them that dream. So it will be like a dream. What God will do. Thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate it, sir. It's a pleasure. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure. Yes. Good afternoon, sir. You are welcome. Yes, sir. And so did you? Yes, sir. You are welcome, sir. Yes, sir. How are you? Fine, sir. Ah. You are very early today. Uh, yes, sir. It's because of the revival this evening, sir. Okay. And I told the rest workers and the other pastors to be here by 4 p.m. Okay. So that we can pray and prepare very well for the program. Oh, that's very good. Thank you. That's very good. You're really welcome. Uh, let me introduce you to this is my guest. This is Robert D. Okay, sir. He's from, I met him in South Africa about a month ago when I was there. Okay, sir. So and, uh, I asked him to come back. So he has just come. He has just arrived. We are chatting together. And uh, Robert D. Yes, sir. This is Pastor Tuji. He's my assistant. And uh, he's the one that will take you to see to meet your parents tomorrow or next. By God's grace. Yes. Yeah, so we can um, greet each other. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry. The way you guys are looking at each other. Have you met each other before? I'm really sorry for everything. Please, forgive me. But, you should have put me in the picture. You hid everything from me. If you told me that you are going to South Africa without assurance of getting a job, I wouldn't have allowed you to go. You just went there to, to suffer yourself. Hmm? What? I thought going there, I'll be able to make things work well. But unfortunately, things didn't work out well for me over there. So I, I'm sorry. I myself, I regret my action. And I regret the pains I've put all of you through. Please, please, I'm sorry for everything, my dear. The most painful aspect of it is that three weeks after you left, two of the companies that you applied to for a job came here to look for you. And they came here with letter of appointment. Eh? And I tried to scan it, send it to your email and WhatsApp. 
But no, no reply. It has happened. What can I do again? Now to come back, to start all over again. And I'm back now. Please, all of you, find a space in your hearts to forgive me. What can I do? Eh? Please, such a thing will never happen again. Please, Daddy will no longer abandon your people. Eh? Mami, Mami, I'm sorry for all that I've taken you through. I, I know I've made you to suffer a lot. I've taken you through a lot of hardship and hard times. Please, I, I'm sorry for all I've done. Please have Please. mercy on me. Please, Please. Please. Please have mercy. <laughs> Ola bodi. Oh. Ashe woni. Weni mami. O se dada o. O se dada ra 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 ra. Bodi. Ola bodi. Mami. So you have been the brain behind all these troubles, all this while. I'm sorry, Daddy. Ha. Hey. Ah. So I've been in such a room. Hey, you see? Hey. My shoe. To forgive you now is not the problem. But how do I undo all that I have done? How? Baba, what did you do? Ah, Pastor, what did I do? What did I do? I have done a lot. You see, from the day I was chased out of my own property, the house I built with my hard and sweat, and I've been sent into this present condition. From that day till now, I have never stopped cursing the person that stole my seal of food. Emina. Ah! So this is all we get from life after all. Emina. Ah. I walked. I built a mansion. And yet I was chased out of my own house, out of my own property, the house that I built with my money. Tamose. Living in just one room apartment, gladly donated by a friend, so that I will not be sleeping under the bridge. A house that I built with my money and my sweat. And I was chased out, embarrassed. Ha! Huh. Now look like a destitute. Living like a refugee. Ah! Hey! Hmm. But the person that broke into my house and stole my CFO, that person will never know peace in his life. Adabite ba so ngoju mi mu fi kole 
and to wole to be minisi of o ba ra se ni mi lowo lowo ba ikaro mo ni bi kibi to ba wa mm ewe oju omi enisin mi ati lo ati bo ni pero je the person that stole my sea of o and put me in this condition as i'm experiencing this horrible pain that person will experience more horrible pains in life. Oh, not knowing it was my son. Every new day is every new cause. So on the person that stole my silver, I never knew it was my son. How do I undo that? Oh. <laughs> I know. I know I deserve to suffer. For all my sins. Ah. The little fire I kindled has snowballed into a big conflagration that is now consuming my life. Ah. Bravo, D. Bravo, D. As a child of God, you have to be mindful of what you say with your mouth. Okay? Most of the time, our confession is our possession. Bravo, D. Ah. Daddy, please. Mom, please. Please, I beg you in the name of the Lord, forgive your son. He has real, realized his mistake now. Please, please, sir. Okay. Hola, buddy. I forgive you. Thank you, sir. With the whole of my heart, I forgive you. As from today, it shall be well with you. Amen. It shall be well with your soul. Amen. Everything you lay your hands upon to do shall prosper. Amen. Wa Amen. Wa jogbalo. Amen. Wa Amen. You will not lack anything good. Amen. All the days of your life. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Our Father, we thank you. We bless your only name. Amen. Lord, we thank you, King of Glory, because all the pains of this family that you remove it in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the time of refreshing will come back in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Mommy, thank you. And Daddy, please, I don't know whether we will be chance on Monday morning. I want you and Brother Bode to come to my office. Ah, in the church? Ah, no, no, no. He knows my office. Brother Bode, I'm office in the Yes, I know his office, Daddy. So we can move on from there, sir. And the Lord will help us. Thank you. I want to take my leave. Yes, sir. Thank you. Baba, this is the sea of all of your property. Bravo, D. I want you to thank God for his love towards you. The Lord really loves you. Ha! Huh? God, I thank you. And thank you too, Pastor. You see, Mr. Bode, we have put this property up for sale for some months. But unfortunately, we are yet to get a better offer. And after service on Sunday, my senior pastor called me and promised to stand shorty for you and Baba for the loan you took care of. What? How? 
God, I thank you. Huh. And you see, uh, Mr. Bode, in view of this, we have decided to put a stop for the sales of this property. And we also decided to put a ceiling on the interest rate. That means you are not going to pay any interest again. Thank you, sir. Um, but, uh, Mr. Abode, you have to do something for us. You have to sign an undertaking on how to pay back the loan. The, I mean the main loan. I, 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 I will gladly do that, sir. That Please, I, I will do that. It's all right. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. The management has decided to employ you to work with us here. Me? Work here? Yes. Ah, God, I thank you. Thank you, sir. And thanks to the management, too. Ah, I'm grateful, sir. Eh? Me? Hey, Baba. Take. You can move back to your house now. Cause of my senior pastor and almighty God. So there will be an end to my pains. I will go back to live in my house once again. The house I built with my sweat. God, I thank you. 